My name is Laszlo Pinter, and I am one of the owners of Tural Bull's American Bulldog Kennel. I first met an American Bulldog in my life when I took part on a police demonstration, and I noticed a big white dog who turned out to be an American Bulldog. There I talked with the handler of him, and it turned out that this dog was used for riot control and other police protection work. At that time we were looking for a dog who works hard and perfectly, but who is absolutely tolerant with small children, and we were astonished by the character and working abilities of the dog we have seen, we decided to go on with American Bulldogs in the future. They are not an easy-going breed, it's in their name that they are Bulldogs, and Bulldogs are really Bulldogs, if they do not want to do something, then they will not do it. In connection with them you have to achieve that they want the same thing that you want, and this way you can cooperate well. With force, you cannot reach anything with an American Bulldog. With our first dogs we got to know the breed, their strength, their will and their doggedness, and we began to breed them. The ancestors of this breed originated in Britain, their predecessors were the strong dogs who helped the butchers in catching and holding down the cattle throughout long centuries. To fulfill these tasks the Bulldogs had to have a special character which they still have today, which is otherwise the advantage and the disadvantage of this breed at the same time. They are very independent and like to work independently and do not tolerate control and this is why it is difficult to manage. In other respect, they are family-centered and do everything for their families in any circumstances. Basically they are not aggressive and can judge situations very well and make difference between dangerous situations and normal ones. What you have to take care in all circumstances that if they feel danger, an adult American Bulldog explodes. It is usually said that the bully type of American Bulldog have two operational modes, the zero mode, when they relax and take rest, and the maximum mode, which comes out of them in a risky situation, and when they explode like a bomb. This is the reason why we always emphasize that only decisive people should have this breed and these dogs should be educated and socialized from the earliest moments of their lives as it is possible. American Bulldogs have two versions, what I have been talking about before refers primarily for the so-called bully type. The bully, or with other words Johnson type of Ambul dogs are robust, very muscular and strong body, with big heads and shorter noses. The other type is the so-called standard or Scott type of Ambuls who are a leaner and more athletic type with longer noses. These two types are quite much handled separately and bred separately. Although they can work together well, they are quite different characters and are used for different purposes. In Australia and in the USA they are used in hunts, where the standard type is the one who chases the game and the bully type is the one who catch them. The standards tolerate repetitive and long-term activities very well and can tolerate hot weather as well, while the bully type is best in performing very high level of energies and strength in a short period and they do not really tolerate hot climate well because of their special short nose structure. If somebody wants to buy an American Bulldog from us, I usually first ask the applicant that for what purpose he wants to get a dog like this. The reason why I do it is that it is my conviction that a future buyer should listen to the breeder in selecting his future dog. In choosing you should not decide primarily on the basis of color or outlook or love at first sight, but much rather on the basis of character. If for example you want to have a family pet and you choose the most dominant puppy of the litter, you can have a lot of bad experiences in the future. American Bulldogs have never been real pack animals, they are much more an independent type. Until 10 months or 1 year of age they behave like any other puppies or young dogs, but after this age, they are beginning to formulate their places in the ranking of dogs and even in families and of course they strive to be the pack leaders. If you are not prepared for this and you believe in the illusion that these are those big white dogs who only like to sleep on the sofa, then you can have a lot of negative surprises. When they reach 2 to 3 years of age they become more balanced, but until this time, you should never let your American Bulldog to behave in a dominant way with anybody in your family. This is the information I tell everybody who wants to have an American Bulldog, and I have to admit, American Bulldogs are not for everybody, only to those who can handle them properly. From the perspective of their health and lifespan the health screenings have a very important role. What we usually do is the hip and elbow dysplasia screenings. Above this we usually do the testings for ICH and NCL illnesses. These three illnesses appear among them sometimes, but from all other respects they are considered to be a very healthy breed. 
When in Europe you take an American Bulldog to a breeding inspection, it is different in many respects from the breeding inspections of other dog breeds. Although they are not registered by the FCI, they are considered to be a tough and hard-working dog breed. In these inspections not only their outlook is tested, but their character as well. They cannot be overly aggressive, but they cannot be timid or shy at the same time. They have to behave in a decisive way, and they should not run away or escape from anything that is happening. If these requirements are met and the dog has all health screening result, only in this case they are ready for breeding.